Hi. Welcome again guys. Sorry for waiting too long. Let's restart our engine room tour from here. There are three generating sets that supply required power for ships operations and cargo operations. In this ship, only two main air compressors are installed. Compressed air is used for engine starting and onboard various services. One air compressor is emergency air compressor and supply its power from emergency bus bar. Boiler water circulation pump is used to circulate hot water from boiler through exhaust gas economizer. As I told you before, economizer is one of the waste heat recovery systems. As per Solis, main source of electrical power shall consist of at least two generating sets. That seal pot then uses to seal exhaust gases from generator exhaust trunks by water. Water level should be checked regularly and fill if necessary. Now we will go to steering gear compartment. As you know, steering gear compartment shall be readily accessible position of the ship. It is required to separate from machinery space. Emergency fire pump is used to extinguish engine room fire at the time of main fire pumps are out of service. Hypermist system is also used to extinguish initial fire of certain points. We can start Hypermist system from manual call points, local and fire station. Steering gear control the movement of rudder. Amongst two, one is emergency steering unit and its power is supplied through emergency bus bar. During round check, ensure personal protective equipments are in good condition. Okay, let's go back to machinery space. Boiler FO pump supplies fuel to boiler for firing to produce steam. All movable parts must be secured always. As you know, ship can face unnoticeable heavy weather at any time. Don't underestimate weather condition.
In these days, package air compressors are used to supply compressed air for deck services. Check level of fuel oil tanks, lube oil tanks and fresh water tanks during watch. We cannot dispose raw sewage from ship in port. At that time, we use sewage treatment plant. Raw sewage is break down and sanitizes by chlorination method and also passing through UV lamp to dispose, legally in port. All direct overboard valves must be sealed and locked when the ship arrives port areas. In tanker vessels, emergency eye wash and shower pump supplies fresh water to wash down dangerous chemical if someone exposes. Level of fuel oil service tanks need to check and watch. To calculate consumption of fuel oil and lube oil for certain interval, we use readings of flow meters. As a watch keeper, needs to drain water and sludge at the bottom of fuel oil service and settling tanks, regularly. Let's go down and observe some machineries. Auxiliary blowers supply air for main engine at the time of turbocharger efficiency is low. Turbine washing of turbocharger turbine blades should be carried out regularly. Turbocharger rotation is caused by expelled exhaust gases from main engine units. At the same time, charging of fresh air into engine has happened, due to rotation of turbocharger blower blades. Air cooler cool down the hot charged air from turbocharger, by using sea water in this ship. Cascade tank supplies required feed water for boiler.
Complete water temperature should be maintained not less than 80 degrees centigrade. Feed water pump takes suction from cascade tank and supplies water to boiler for steam production. There are two air bottles for engine starting and supply air for control systems. Total capacity of air receivers must be sufficient to give at least 12 starts for reversible engine and at least 6 starts for non-reversible engine without refilling receivers. Most chemical tankers use Framo hydraulic system for cargo operations. This is dismantling stand for main engine exhaust valves overhaul. In this ship, hot water from main engine jacket water system is used for warming accommodation in cold regions. Jacket pumps supply water for engine cooling. How to produce fresh water from sea water. That's correct. We use fresh water generator to produce fresh water from sea water. Jet filter is better than other types of filtering system for fuel oil line. These are fuel pump modules for main engine. Impurities and water from fuel oil and lube oil were separated by purifiers. Fuel oil purifiers are important to get optimized combustion of engine. Lube oil purifiers are also important to get better cooling efficiency in piston crown. And also prevents corrosion and wears due to impurities. Let's go to bottom floor of engine room. This is marine growth prevention system and protects marine growths fouling in pipeline. And also prevent corrosion along pipelines and cooling sea water system.
check level and condition of water in bilge wells during watch. Sea water recirculating valve regulates sea water from cooler either overboard or return back into main cooling sea water pump suction. Recirculating valve works by temperature setting. Normally, temperature is set at 25 degrees centigrade. Ejector pump supplies required sea water for fresh water generator. Main cooling sea water pumps are used to supply cooling water for various coolers and condensers. Required cooling water for control room air cond, accommodation air cond, galley air cond and refrigerating system is supplied from sea water service pump. Emergency bilge suction valve can be used to pump out water from engine room, if in case of engine room flooding. Emergency bilge suction valve must not be locked by keypad. These are main fire pumps for fire fighting on deck and supply sea water for anchor washing. Operation of emergency bilge suction valve should be checked every three months interval. These are ductors for black water and gray water tanks. Overboard valves should be sealed and locked before ship enters into control areas. These are sludge and bilge transfer pumps. Oily water separator is another one of Marple equipments. Oil and bilge water is separated through oily water separator and bilge water not greater than 15 ppm oil content is allowed to discharge overboard. Overboard valves of oily water separator must be locked and keys were kept by master and chief engineer. Turning gear can be used for engine turning during maintenance or ensure smooth rotation of engine. These are two main lubricating pumps for main engine. One is running and another one is in standby mode. It supplies lubricating oil to various parts of main engine for smooth rotation and prevent wear. Light bulbs in engine room bilge wells should be in good condition. Drinking water and fresh water services for ship is supplied through hydrophone systems.
Relief valves are fitted on main engine to relieve excessive pressure in crankcase. For cylinder diameter of 200 mm or crankcase volume of 0.6 cubic meter and above, shall be provided crankcase relief valve of suitable type with sufficient relief area. There are sampling valves for engine scrape down analysis in 6 UEC 45 LSE1. Fuel oil and lube oil transfer pumps are used for internal transfer of oil. Sludge tank collects sludge from purifiers. Let's go upstairs. Fuel injection pumps boost fuel oil pressure for injector opening and support for combustion. To minimize wear rate between liner and rings, correct amount and exact timing of lubrication is required. Local maneuvering stand is for emergency maneuvering of main engine, if control system is out of order. Overhead crane is used to lift heavy parts of engine in maintenance. This is control panels for generator engine and can be used for generator synchronization, load sharing and start stop of generator engines. Power from main bus bar supplies to emergency bus bar through feeder breaker. Ways to escape route must clear from obstacles. Required appliances in escape route must be in good working condition. Two means of communications are supported between engine control room and bridge. 
telegraph is one kind of connection between control room and bridge for engine movement. Let's enter engine room tour in here. Hope you will satisfy this tour. Thanks for watching and please don't forget subscribe and turn notification on. See you again. Bye.